All right, guys, I'm going to teach you how to do one-point perspective drawing. So what I'm going to ask you to do is create an 11 by 8.5 document in inches. Make sure it's inches. And in landscape format. So click Create. So I'm going to recommend that you not use uh, the uh, Wacom for this. So learn how to do it uh, using uh, just the, uh, the, the regular tool. So we're going to go get the brush. So one thing that uh, you need to know is Whenever you have a drawing, uh, I'm going to do this really quickly. There's a horizon point, the vanishing point, and then there's the horizon line. So I want you to imagine that this is, you know, the landscape. Let's pretend uh, the grass. And over here is the sky. And off in the distance is the vanishing point. This is kind of like as if I'm standing here and that I'm looking right in front. So I'm going to undo all that. This is the classic. We're going to do the, the basic how to draw a horizon line. So we're going to click on the brush tool. Uh, might as well click D for the black here. We're going to click D. And roughly in the middle of the page, doesn't really matter exactly where, but roughly in the middle. Click your shift key on your keyboard. Click on your mouse and drag and it'll make a perfect line. Okay. Now the thing that we want to do is pick a point somewhere in the middle. And that'll be our, so this is your horizon line. I'm just writing horizon. I'll just turn off the smoothing here. So that's your horizon line. Okay, so down here, that's your horizon line. And over here is your vanishing point. So everything vanishes towards this point. So I'm going to just draw a point. So you can write vanishing point, since this is a practice. And what I want to do is we're going to draw a square up here, as if you're facing you. Okay, oops, control Z. So click, shift, click, and shift, click. I'm drawing a perfect circle. Try and draw it. it. Doesn't have to be perfect. The point is you're practicing here. So let's go like that. We're going to draw another one over. Oops, control Z. So click shift, and let's draw another one that's half over the line and half under the line. And I just Maybe you want to clean that up. We're going to draw one over here below the line. And let's see, one sec. We'll drag one, draw one more here. So shift, control Z, click, shift. If you want to use your eraser tool, whatever, that's fine. So basically, everything goes to that point. So I'm going to go click, shift, click. Click on the perfect corner here, wherever that is. Click, shift, click. Make sure your vanishing point's a little clearer than mine here. Click. Okay, you can see there's a little bit, it's a little bit off there. So I would say click, shift, click. You can always zoom in if you don't see as well. You can go from one direction to the other. So there you go. So anything above this line looks like this. So I'm going to just do this one over here. So click, shift, click. Make sure you have really in the right spot. Click, shift, click. And I'll just finish these here and then you can see what they look like. Um, so here it's going to be a little bit different. Everything underneath is like that. Okay, so click, click, shift, click. So anything you draw bel below the horizon line will have these kind of properties where it's the opposite. Okay, and so in this case, anything that's in between the two, so click, shift, click, Click, shift, click, and well, that one's kind of even, so there you go. You get a sense of it. So everybody, I want you to create one of these. That's the first part, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know.